Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Philip Selway and I'm sitting in this week for Guy Garvey as he finishes up his tour Down Under with Elbow in Australia and New Zealand. Now, just open the show with a Talking Heads song, uh, Cross-Eyed and Painless, from their, their masterpiece album, Remain in Light. And I'm in Radiohead, and we borrowed our band name from a Talking Heads song, actually. Uh, fortunately, they've not asked for it back yet. So, moving on to the, the next track. This is uh, a song from The Meters. It's called Just Kiss My Baby. And as a drummer... I've always got more than half an ear open to other tub thumpers, and there's none funkier than Zigaboo Modeliste, the drummer on this track. So, so here it is. It's for meters. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Uh, that was the meters and Just Kiss My Baby. Now, for the next couple of hours, one of the things that I want to do is play music by bands and artists that I've, I've had the very good fortune to either perform with or share a bill with over the past couple of decades. And the, the first one is uh, Massive Attack. We, as Radiohead, just after we'd released OK Computer back in 1997, we played a show at the RDS Arena in Dublin and we were petrified. It was absolutely massive. Also on the bill were Massive Attack and it's, you know, kind of one of my favourite bands. Uh, but the, the sense of the occasion unfortunately means you don't actually take in, in their performance. But it was one of those weeks it got us ready. We did the show, which was amazing to do, and it was just ahead of the weekend before playing at Glastonbury Festival, and which changed things quite a lot for us. So this song, well, this band, very much bound up in that, that whole time for me. It's a song called Teardrop, and I remember when I first heard it being absolutely blown away by it. And I've heard it so many times in between, as I'm sure we all have, but it's a song that still really, really affects me every time I hear it. So uh, here it is. It's, this is Massive Attack and Teardrop. That was Massive Attack and Teardrop. Next up is another band that appeared on the same bill as. Again, it was on a Radiohead tour back in 2006 as we were preparing for In Rainbows. This band is it's a band from San Francisco called Deerhoof. This week they had just released a new album called La Isla Bonita. And one of the shows I remember in particular with them was a show in San Diego, which was notable because evidently, allegedly, there was a sighting of a UFO over the stage as we were playing. Well, there you go. Um, so this is, this is for any of the extraterrestrial listeners out there today. It's a song called, rather jaunty title, Doom. This is Deer Hoof. This is Philip Selway. Hello. My next track up is from Lisa Germano. I was lucky enough to work with Lisa on my first solo record, uh, Familial. I'd met her down in New Zealand back in 2001 on a project Neil Finn put together called Seven Worlds Collide. And she's just been such a big influence on me as, as a songwriter and as a singer. Uh, she's just has a, an incredible collection of records and it's always an absolute treat listening to to her music and so this song is called from a shell it's from her album lullaby for liquid pig and the earth spins it's a buzz, it's a buzz. that was lisa germano and from a shell um now each week Don Letts selects a piece of crucial vinyl. Um, that's an album that has inspired him and shaped his taste in music. This week, he's picking a record by pioneering German band Kraftwerk, and it's their 1977 release, Trans Europe Express, which uh, leads me very nicely into my next record, actually. This is Kraftwerk. Again, a band which played on the same bill as, which was on a South American tour, back in 2009 uh, it was absolutely amazing watching them 
play every night on these large stages with amazing sound system and i've got a very strong memory of the end of that tour where we ended up in in chile and we all went out to a club together you know all of us in radiohead and, and craft work and hitting the dance floor with ralph from craft work and he's got some moves anyway this song is called the robots it's from their 1978 album man machine <laughs> That was Lou Reed and Walk on the Wild Side from his 1972 album Transformer. As a teenager, I had a cassette which on one side of it had uh, the Velvet Underground, the Andy Warhol album and Transformer on the other side of it and practically wore it out. That music just, just defined so much of, of my adolescence, I think. I just, it was a window on a world which uh, going on in New York, which was just a million miles away from 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 my experience in growing up in Oxfordshire, and wet behind the ears and slightly wide eyed, lots of confusing things <laughs> came through in those songs for me, but they still pack a punch all these years later. Now, recently, Guy did a strand on how backing vocalists made, made the songs. I think Walk on the Wild Side is probably a very good example of that. That was a, a vocal group called, brilliant name, Thunder Thighs. And this next track, it's from Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. Now, the Dapettes are the backing singers, and they're an absolute treat. I recently got to perform uh, one of my own songs with the Dap Kings. It was on The Tonight Show in New York. And they're the backing singers. It's Sandra Williams and, in this instance, Star Duncan. Um, but just an amazing band, the Dap Kings. And with Sharon Jones, she's an absolute force of nature. She used to be a prison officer at Rikers I Island. And, yep, you do what she'd tell you to do. But I recently saw them first at Shepherd's Bush Empire back in the summer and then at uh, Bristol Colston Hall. But the most electrifying and life-affirming performances, really. And so if you get the chance to go and see them, please do, because it's brilliant. This song is called uh, You'll Be Lonely. It's Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. <laughs> That was Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, and the song was You'll Be Lonely. Next up, I have a song from Killing Joke. It's uh, a song that actually, I think, made me want to become a drummer. One of those first songs, and uh, I annoyed people, my family in particular, just drumming on tables to this one and just generally air drumming it's a song called follow the leaders it's from 1981 uh, and if if you like killing joke mark riley this week has got an old peel session which will be playing out over the week of killing joke from that year so this is killing joke and follow the leaders bbc 2 hd this is philip selway on bbc radio six music music Hello, and this track coming up now is from Martin Simpson. Um, I actually got to play with Martin on his album, True Stories, played drums on a couple of tracks on that record. Um, but the track I'm going to play is from the album before that, it's called Prodigal Son. Uh, this is a song called Never Any Good, um, and it's, you know, Martin's incredible guitar playing uh underpins it all but it's just a wonderful song and also on this one uh it's the vocal uh, backing vocal from kate rusby as well who i mean her voice just just makes me melt so i mean a great combination to have on one track uh so here it is this is martin simpson and never any good you were never any good with me That was Martin Simpson and Never Any Good with uh, the wonderful Kate Rusby singing backing vocals. This week, a 
book has just been published called Remembered for a While. It's a book about one of my favourite artists, Nick Drake, put together by his sister, Gabrielle Drake. It's kind of a treasury of all things Nick Drake. And I'd like to play a song of his second album, Brighter Later. This is one of my favourite tracks off that record. And this is called One of These Things First. That was Pearl Jam and Better Man. I'm Philip Selway, and that song has so many good memories for me. Earlier on in the show, when I was playing Lisa Germano, I was talking about the Seven Worlds Collide project that uh, Neil Finn put together back in 2001 down in New Zealand. Uh, And for me, I hadn't played outside Radiohead at that point. And to go and be part of something where you end up playing with... Johnny Marr or Eddie Vedder. Um, it was just an amazing experience. Um, you know, uh, so as I say, so many good memories from that. And I do remember that song in particular, playing that with Eddie Vedder. And, and over the end of it, he started singing, uh, my, my favorite beat song ever, actually, Save It For Later. And it was just, I was in musical heaven. So next song, I have, uh, something from Captain Beefheart. Uh, it's a song called Sun Zoom Spark. And you hear all these rumors about the, 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 the magic band sessions where they're all locked away for 14 hours a day, just playing, uh, surviving on a, on a cup of beans every day very much like a radio head session actually so here it is captain b of heart and sun zoom spark sun zoom spark captain b heart and the magic band sun zoom spark now if you're having withdrawal symptoms from from guy garvey today can i suggest you listen to his desert island discs it's on the desert island discs archive if you've not listened to it already it's amazing and one of the songs that he chose was a Joni mitchell song called a case of you which is from the album both sides now where it was recorded well released in in 2000 and saw Joni mitchell singing some kind of classic jazz songs with an orchestral backing, but also revisiting a couple of her own songs. And the other track off that record, which was was her own, was Both Sides Now, uh, which was originally on on Clouds. And it's uh, the track that gave the, the album its title. So this is Both Sides Now, off Both Sides Now. This is Philip Selway. I'm sure that ident uh, drew you out, out of your reverie after Joni Mitchell. That was the very beautiful version of Both Sides Now. Recently, I've been doing lots of interviews for, for my second solo record, um, Weatherhouse. And one question that keeps on coming up is about a Radiohead record, actually, called uh, The Benz, which is our second record. Um, and people are picking up on the fact it's just coming up to 20 years since we recorded it and, and released it. And I keep being asked for memories of doing it. It's very, very hazy. But the one thing that I do remember from it was when we were touring the record and we were invited to open for REM. And so we toured with them in the States, we toured with them around Europe. But we just had the most amazing experience with them. Um, they took us under their wing. We learnt so much from, from touring with them. And so this song is called Begin the Begin. It's off um, Life's Rich Pageant. And uh, so here it is, R.E.M. R.E.M. and Begin the Begin. Before that record, I mentioned my record my own record weatherhouse um without it sounding like a, a shameless plug uh i'm going to play a track by adam who produced that record for me he uh and quinta joined me for most of last year recording and it was a, an absolute fantastic year and he's somebody who i've been a fan of well of his own music for for a long time now he released a record in 2006 called love and other planets and this track that i'm going to play launch yourself was off that and 
I'm very excited actually because I've heard music that he's been working on over this past year too and for all Arden fans I'm sure they'll be very pleased to know that actually he's got an amazing record coming along so this is Arden and launch yourself That was Ardem and Launch Yourself. Uh, I'm Philip Selway and I'm sitting in for Guy Garvey and I couldn't come on to this show without playing the great man himself. It would seem rude and he would seem too modest to actually play himself on his own own show. So this is uh, a, a song from Elbow and for me this is very much bound up in a night back in 2012 going back to the olympics uh thinking of the the, the closing ceremony and managed to to actually find some tickets for for the closing ceremony which i went to with my my wife and we left with you know wallets that were considerably lighter unable to feed or clothe the kids for for about a year but it was worth it and for me i think the standout musical moment really was elbow and they did this version of one day like this straight after the closing ceremony for the olympics we we went on holiday we drove overnight down to cornwall and i, I remember very vividly driving over bodmin moor kind of as, as the sun was coming up and i still had one day like this ringing in my ears and it's the, the perfect accompaniment to that moment so here it is this is elbow and one day like this that was ingenue by my potty-mouthed bandmate tom york and his other band atoms for peace i went to see atoms for peace at the roundhouse in london last year and it was an absolute revelation for me actually um having spent the past couple of decades sat behind tom when we're playing live just watching his backside to actually get out front and see see what the fuss was about it was amazing great band and uh, a mock uh, excellent album so next up i have a track from spiritualized it's going back to 1998 their album ladies and gentlemen we are floating in space and with that record they actually came out touring with radiohead and actually one show that i remember in particular it wasn't with us but it was on that tour they did a, a show at the top of the world trade center and this was a couple of years before the attacks on the twin towers but it's probably the most incongruous um location for a spiritualized show really because you had them doing their thing and but it was just surrounded by everybody who was just coming off the trading floor in in their suits but somehow that contrast worked and it was an incredibly memorable show anyway this song is called come together and it's by spiritualized That was spiritualized and come together. Well, I'm Philip Selway and uh, I've spoken a bit about on this show earlier about the Seven Worlds Collide project that I was uh, involved with, with Neil Finn down in New Zealand. And well, here's a song from the, from the man himself. This is one that we played and it was we called it the player's favorite it was so much yeah you know, we got so much out of playing this song it was off his first solo record called try whistling this and this song is she will have her way neil finn and she will have her way this next track is from a band called eves now i'm going to be out touring next year and uh, around europe and the uk in uh, february and this is a band that i'm actually trying to talk into coming out to to play with me at the moment uh eves themselves it's actually a, a 22 year old singer songwriter called joseph lyons from from leeds and these tracks have been up on soundcloud and but uh, just something that's really arresting about them this song is called as old as the grave and it's eves This is Philip Selway on BBC Radio 6 Music. 
Now, one of the best drummers, I think, to air drum to is John Bonham. This next track is from Led Zeppelin. It's off Led Zeppelin 4, one of my favourite albums, and it's one that no matter how many times I listen to it, I'm convinced it is going to fall apart. But you always have it there at the centre of it, John Bonham's drumming, just rock solid and just marshalling everything, all the chaos that's going on around it. So this is Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin and Black Dog. Well, I'm very nearly at the end for today. Thank you for listening to me prattle on for the past couple of hours. I hope you've enjoyed the music. And normal service will be resumed next week with Guy Garvey. Guy will be taking listeners on a on a celebratory tour of Manchester's oldest libraries, so listen out for that. This final song... Um, it's a Tim Buckley song. I'm ashamed to say I didn't realise it was his song for ages. It's one that Tom, Tom, my bandmate, uh, used to sing. Well, he did a cover of it. He used to sing it in rehearsals and, and, and sound checks. And I thought, wow, that's such a Tom song. That's so, so lovely. Uh, eventually found out it was a Tim Buckley song. It's a wonderful one for, for, for a Sunday. Um, so have a great Sunday. Um, have a great week and uh, take care thank you so much for listening I'm Philip Selway and this one is Sing a Song for You by Tim Buckley In my heart